Okay, welcome back to the Ozark Outpost. This is uh, part two of uh, China um, Spring 16. Okay, I got myself straightened out. So one artillery is retreating back to Tibet. I, I misspoke. And now it is three mountain. No, four mountain. No, three mountain infantry artillery supported. Let's see, since the one artillery had to retreat, yeah, it still gets support because it's, you play this like everybody's shooting at one time. Okay, everything was amiss. We do have one mountain retreat with an 11. So uh, one mountain will retreat to Tibet. So we got one, one artillery and one mountain retreating to Tibet so far. Now we have one mountain infantry at two. That's a miss. And then we have two infantry at one. Those are both misses. Okay, so one artillery defends for a miss. One Mountain Infantry defends, also for a miss. So they had one casualty, which the other artillery will come off now, leaving one Mountain Infantry. Okay, third round. Two artillery this time. Both miss, one retreats. So uh, that's going to be... One artillery retreating. No, it's going to re retreat to Tibet as well. Okay, so now we have two mountain infantry supported. They both miss. Two mountain infantry at twos. They both miss. And then two infantry at once. They didn't get it done. That was the third round. One of them, well, actually, everybody has to retreat, so it doesn't matter anymore. Mountain Infantry defends. Missed with a nine. So, um, everybody's going to retreat back to their starting points. There is one Mountain Infantry left in Xinghai. But we didn't get her done. Uh, your call, Dan. You want to counterattack with that mountain infantry? Be my guest. Okay, there's not going to be any non-combat. So we're at place units. So we've got two militia to place. One is going in Tibet. And one's going in unit. There's that. China collects four. And that is the end of the Chinese turn. Um, yep, that's it for the Chinese. Okay, uh, just a brief recap. Um, what happened this turn? The French captured Togoland from Germany. The Italians bulked up a little bit in Somaliland. Um, the French grabbed Bosnia, excuse me, they're in the Balkans. The Austrians marched into southern Ukraine. And that's pretty much it for the major action. Uh, 
amphibious invasion of Kaiser Wilhelm Land came up short, as did uh, the Chinese attack you just watched on uh, Xinghai. Okay, that's that. Now, we go to random events. So, summer 1916 West. Five. Muslim Africa. Add one free colonial infantry or one free camel in every zone the Ottoman Empire owns in Africa that has a manpower icon. So, that's going to be Darfur Sultanate and Dervish State. Those are the only two Ottoman possessions currently on the African continent. So, Dan, either... What was that? Either one colonial or one camel in each zone. Okay, now we do east. And we rolled three. Cochin China Uprising. Place one free attacking neutral infantry in Cochin China and resolve combat immediately. All right, let's have a look here. Cochin China is defended by a French infantry. So, is that mountain? Nope, doesn't look like it's mountain to me, it's just jungle. So the attacking neutral infantry will be added too. So, we'll pick Blue for French and white for the neutral. French will be defending at four, the uh, neutral attacking at two. Okay, everybody missed. The white neutral killed with a one, the French missed. So, doesn't say it doesn't say what happens as far as possession of the territory goes so uh, since it doesn't say anything about making it a independent neutral I guess it just is in rebellion right now and it's up to the French to uh, try to recapture it if they want uh, Brian, if that's not uh, correct, let us know. But, you know, I, I'm not going to read anything into that event. I'm just doing it as it, it's printed. Okay, so that's that for random events. I think we're done. Let's just have a real quick look at the tech chart there you can see where everybody's at there's the income chart see where everybody stands and then I'm pretty sure that's accurate there's the victory point chart and if you can decipher all those things. There's how the diplomacy chart stands. Okay. Move up to summer 1916 on the calendar marker. And Ozark Outpost, over and out.